welcome back to my most highly requested video of the past year and a half, my updated perfume collection video. Now, I know you guys have been waiting for this for so long, but I wanted to make sure that I had enough perfume so that this video would be just as valuable as my first perfume collection video. And I know that one was a huge hit. You guys loved that video so much. So now I'm at the point where I truthfully feel like I have enough perfume to make this extremely valuable for you. I have a lot of new bottles for you guys that were either sent to me or given to me by these companies um, because I do, for all of you that don't know, I, I have worked in the perfume industry for the past four to five years. So with that being said, all of my fragrances that were going to that were in my first perfume collection video are not going to be in this video for time purposes. This video would be two hours long if that was the case. So if you want to view my first perfume collection video and you haven't seen it yet, I would highly suggest it and it's on my channel. I'll have the link in the description below this video to that video. Um, so yeah, for time's sake, let's just get into this. If you found value out of it, give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I make videos about perfume, veganism, positivity, lifestyle, videos about such a wide variety of topics. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. So these are all of the fragrances that were in my first perfume collection video. Just so you guys have a little idea of how many were in. These are the fragrances that you will be seeing in this video. So obviously I've added a ton to my collection as you can see here. And yeah, let's jump right into it. So the first fragrance I want to show you guys is brand new by Dolce & Gabbana. It's called Dolce & Gabbana The One. Super, super pretty bottle. And guys, I am absolutely obsessed with this fragrance. Dolce & Gabbana The One. It's brand new and I absolutely love this fragrance so much. If you can see it, hopefully it focuses. Yeah, guys, this is brand new. Oh my goodness, it is so different from any other fragrance I've ever tried. It has such a fruity sweetness with like a edgy like dry down. I don't even know how else to describe it. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance for any age. I'm wearing it now. <laughs> this is why it's the first one that I'm showing you guys because I absolutely love it. Now, for time purposes in this video, I'm not gonna go through the notes, um, but you can always look at the notes of the fragrances on fragrantica.com, always. Um, so, yes. It smells so good and it's very long lasting. It is an eau de parfum. I'll have all the prices listed under here so that you guys know how much this costs today in the year of um, 2019. So yeah, this is hands down one of my favorite fragrances right now. It's just absolutely incredible. And I, if you haven't tried it yet, I would highly, highly recommend you guys try this one out. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is Prada Candy right here. It is such a gorgeous fragrance as well. This is one of my favorites. It has been for a long time and it never, it truly never gets old to me. If you are someone who is into very sweet scents, then you're going to absolutely love this fragrance. This is one of the, the sweetest fragrances that I sold myself um, and people absolutely love it. It is an eau de parfum and it is absolutely amazing. It's pretty long lasting, I have to say. And it's just great for an everyday fragrance. A lot of people have this as their signature scent. Guys absolutely love it because guys typically like sweet scents if you didn't know that already. So yeah, highly recommend for, you know, young people or any age really. Honestly, perfume is not about ages. It really isn't. But um, a lot of younger crowds like this fragrance and I'm 24, almost 25, and I absolutely love it. So definitely recommend this fragrance. 
The next fragrance I have to show you guys is the Dolce Garden. This is also one of Dolce Gabbana's newer fragrances. It is absolutely amazing if you like sweet very sweet scents this has vanilla and coconut in it and it truly is such a good spring and summer scent um, I probably wouldn't really wear this in the summer I mean sorry in the winter because it is like obviously you can tell by the cap the flower cap and everything else that it clearly is made to be like a spring scent so how cute is this bottle I just think it's super classy and yeah I love Dolce & Gabbana in general I think they make amazing fragrances um, I have a lot of their other ones and you're also gonna see a few more in the future in this video um, but yes I love this fragrance because I personally love sweet scents so if you're someone that loves sweet scents and you like long-lasting fragrances then you're gonna absolutely love Dolce Gar Garden and yes it is an eau de parfum the next fragrance I have to show you guys is Chanel Eau Tundra. Um, it's from their Chance collection. I don't know if you can see that. You can tell which chances they are. I always got this question, how can you tell the difference? Um, they're listed right under here. So it would say Eau Tundra or Eau Fresh or Eau Vive, depending on which um, which chance you got. So my favorite by far is the Otandra or Otandra. I don't let me know because I've been told in the past I don't pronounce these things correctly. I'm sorry, I can't be perfect. Um, but Otandra is my absolute favorite. It is nice and light and sweet. So if you are a fan of sweet and light fragrances, you are going to love this. It's also powdery at the same time, and it's just an absolutely gorgeous everyday fragrance. I have a bunch of friends of mine who only wear this fragrance and they absolutely love it. This was one of our best sellers that we ever sold, so definitely if you don't like something too overpowering, um, then I would highly recommend this. This is an eau de toilette, but it does last a very long time, so, it is worth your buy for sure in my opinion so yeah it's a good one and the next fragrance I have to show you guys is this Chanel Gabrielle fragrance this is new by Chanel and it smells really good so it's definitely more of like a citrusy scent I would describe it as um, for sure it, I think it has lemon in it um, and it's just, you know, they launched it either this year or the end of last year. I can't remember which one it was, but it is like a new fragrance. And I am personally not the largest fan of Chanel, like Eau de Parfum fragrances for some reason. Um, but yeah, I don't know. A lot of people liked this. Um, when they launched it, it did not sell very well, um, unfortunately, but now people are really starting to buy it and a lot of people do like it. So I appreciate all fragrances, right? That's why I worked in the industry. And so I don't like saying, you know, this doesn't smell good because everyone has different tastes. But I do, I am okay with saying a fragrance doesn't last long. It's probably not worth your buy because of these different reasons. Not because it doesn't smell that great, you know what I mean? Because everyone has different opinions. Um, so as far as long lasting, this fragrance does not last on your skin long at all. And I'm not just saying that because I don't like the smell of it. I'm saying it because I'm always honest with you guys. And um, I would never like promote a product that I didn't actually like believe in. And like I said before, I don't get paid to make these videos at all. So um, for me, this is not my favorite fragrance, but a lot of people do like it. And for those of you that like it, that's 
great. Um, but if you're looking for like a long lasting Chanel fragrance, then I probably would not go with Gabrielle. I would go with Mademoiselle or number five or um, like the Chance Eau de Parfum. Um, this is not really, it's an Eau de Parfum, but it's really not that long lasting. So yeah, um, just think about it before you buy it and see if you really like the scent instead of just the brand name Chanel. <laughs> the next right. fragrance I have to show you guys is called Joy by Dior. So you can see here, um, it's a brand new bottle and what I like best about it is that it's a magnetic top. So that's really cool. You don't see that a lot with fragrances at all. I really like the bottle design. Um, I think it's really classy. I love the silver top and it says Dior at the top of it and everything like that. The face behind this fragrance was Jennifer Lawrence. So that I think is why it sold so well. I am a huge Jennifer Lawrence fan as well. Um, but I have to be honest with you guys. Dior hasn't come out with a brand new fragrance, meaning they've come out with J'adore, J'adore Lore, you know, J'adore Eau de Toilette, but they haven't come out with, or Miss Dior, Miss Dior uh, Absolutely Blooming. They've come out with other, like, lines of, like, one of their fragrances, but they haven't come out with a brand new fragrance in so many years. I forget the exact amount of years, but it was like, I was like a child the last time they actually came out with their own fragrance. So that's how long it's been. So for me, I was just expecting something a little better, I guess, like a little more different. Um, to me, this is extremely um, overpriced and I don't know. If you like powdery scents, then you'll probably like this fragrance. Um, it's a very light fragrance and it doesn't last long on the skin. Um, from what I've heard from multiple of my clients and also from experience. So I'm not the biggest fan of this fragrance to be completely honest with you. I actually would never wear it myself. It's too powdery for me and just, I don't know. I was kind of disappointed when Dior came out with this. I was, I was expecting it to be, because it was this huge launch, huge, huge launch. I was expecting it to be way better than it was because I was there before they launched it. I actually smelt it before we launched it and I wasn't allowed to talk about it. I wasn't allowed to know what the name of it was until it came out and when I smelt it I was just like hmm and they made like this huge like launch with it and everything so I don't know. Dior, I'm a little bit disappointed in your fragrance joy, I have to say. And I'm a huge fan of Dior. I love Miss Dior EDP. I love Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming. That's my favorite. And I love J'adore, um, which you will see because I have it here. So yeah, um, just a little disappointed with D uh, Joy. Let me know if you guys have an opinion that is the same or if or if it differs, just let me know your thoughts on all of these fragrances in the comments. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is Versace Crystal Noir. Now you guys, probably some of you on here love Versace because of the name and the bottle. I, so I don't have the cap for this one. Um, I don't know what happened to it, but this is what the caps usually look like. So for this one, it would match the color of the bottle, which is like a very dark purple. This is what the caps usually look like. So this was in my other video, my first video, I have bright crystal. So the cap would be the same, just a dark purple on this one. So this fragrance is my favorite Versace um, fragrance in their crystal collection. I'm not really the biggest fan. If you watch my other video, you know, not really the biggest fan of like the whole um, crystal collection except for this one. And I said in that previous video that I wanted this one and I ended up getting it. 
so that was awesome. Um, it's just gonna be worth your buy out of all of them because it's the longest lasting one for sure. And it is an eau de toilette, they all are. But I have to say, this is like pretty long lasting for an eau de toilette. So if you are thinking about buying a Versace for your collection because you want it for like the name and just to have it and blah, 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 like most of my clients do, then I would highly recommend going with Crystal Noir. And it's very underrated. Not a lot of people go for this one um, because the bright crystal is so popular. So they kind of want to go for like what other people have. But for me, I never want to have what anyone else has. And I don't know if you're similar to that. And if you're one of those people, then I would highly recommend getting the Crystal Noir um, from Versace. It is really good. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is this Michael Kors Sensual Essence. And this is one of their newer ones as well. And this fragrance is so good for the spring or summer. I would not wear it in the fall or winter because this is one of those scents that just reminds you of like the nice weather, of being outside. And yeah, um, I actually personally do really like this fragrance. It's very, very fruity. So if you like fun, fruity scents, then you're probably going to love this one. It's a little bit different of what Michael Kors has done in the past. Um, now their original one of this is Wonderlust. This is Wonderlust Sensual Essence. So this is newer. Um, Wonderlust original is very powdery. Um, and this one, you can still tell that it is like a Wonderlust fragrance because it does have that powdery scent to it, but at the same time, it has that fruitiness that is my favorite part. I absolutely love it. Uh, you know, like I, I don't know the exact notes that are in here, but I really smell, I feel like I smell like orange or pineapple or something. It is so good. It really is so underrated, I think, this fragrance for sure. So if you guys are just like out shopping, just like try this on your wrist and see what you think about it because it's it's a really hard one to describe. But if I could describe it, I would say powdery and fruity. And if you're into that, definitely, definitely get this. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is this Jimmy Choo Eau de Toilettes. And it is, um, there's two parts in this collection. So I actually have the Eau de Parfum as well. So this is the Eau de Parfum. The first time, this is crazy. I don't know if any of you guys watch Kathleen Lights like I do, but I'm a huge fan of her. And I remember a couple years ago, she said that this was like one of her favorite fragrances ever. And since then I was like, oh my God, I have to get that fragrance. So I did and I gotta tell you, I understand why she was so obsessed with this. I don't know if she still is, but I absolutely love this fragrance. It is such a unique fragrance and there's nothing out there like it. It's an eau de parfum. It's so long lasting. I get so many compliments when I wear this fragrance. Men love it. Women love it. Everyone loves it. Like I've never gotten a complaint that it was too overpowering or anything because um, I did work with like a lot of people. So like some people can get like annoyed with fragrances and stuff, but I've never had any complaints when I wear this. Like, even though it is like a heavier scent, um, everyone absolutely loves it. There's just something about it that is like so addicting. When you smell it, you like can't stop smelling it. Obviously, I have a problem. <laughs> um, but yeah, highly recommend Jimmy Choo Eau de Parfum. Unbelievable. I think every single person should own this in their collection. As for the Eau de Toilette, it has um, pear, ginger, it has tea in it. Now, this one is a lot lighter. You can definitely tell that um, it's not as long lasting because it's not, um, but you could definitely tell that there's tea in it for sure. 
It is a nice fragrance, but it's nowhere as nice to me as the original Jimmy Choo Eau de Parfum. I would just say save your money on this one and just get the Eau de Parfum because it's gonna last a lot longer and just overall like smell <laughs> a lot better. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is J'adore by Dior. Now this fragrance has been around for a while now and you'll probably recognize it from the commercials with the woman in the gold dress. That's what all of my clients used to come in when they were asking for it. You know, I want that fragrance that I saw in that commercial with the woman in the gold dress. I'm like, J'adore. So this is that famous commercial that you see year after year, you know, it's always on. It's one of the top perfume uh, commercials ever. And this is an Eau de Parfum. What I love about it specifically is the cap and the bottle itself. It's just super, super classy. Um, so I love this scent. Let me know in the comments because I've been wondering this forever. Who thinks that this fragrance also smells like bananas? You know, like I say it to people and they're like, no, like I don't, I don't see it, I don't get it. But I swear, like it smells like bananas. I swear. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Every time I smell it, I just think of bananas. But anyways, um, there's no ingredient of banana in here, but just let me know if you agree with that <laughs> please I'm like dying for someone to think that that's true <laughs> with me cuz yeah um, I absolutely love this fragrance my best friend actually wore this for her wedding and it's a great wedding scent it really is or an everyday scent it's super super classy it's super it's good for literally anyone at any age I have clients from all ages buying this fragrance because it's so light and versatile. Um, it's nothing like ridiculous. It's not too fruity. It's not too sweet. It's not too spicy. You know, it's right there in the middle. It really is a classy everyday scent that um, is pretty much a staple in anyone's perfume collection. The next fragrance I have to show is Giorgio Armani's Armani Code. Now you've probably seen different versions of this bottle. They've had like a flowery bottle and like different design bottles. They've changed this bottle a million times. But um, this is, I'm not even completely sure at this point if this is the newest version of the bottle. It's just the same scent. They've never changed the scent, just so you guys know, because that was a main question I had with my clients. So this fragrance is an Eau de Parfum. It is one of my favorite fragrances as well and it is something that you can't compare to any other fragrance. Again, like you can't compare. It stands on its own, which is why to this day it's so popular. And a lot of my clients who come in and use Armani Code refuse to use anything else. They're very loyal customers when it comes to Armani Code. Um, I personally love it myself. I was wearing it like all this week. I go through like spells of like wearing the same fragrance like, like for like a week straight and then I'll go for like another three months just like wearing a different fragrance every day because well I have like a big collection but I just get in these spells when I'm like oh my god I'm obsessed with this fragrance so I've been in that spell with this fragrance a few times and I have to say I just I, I it's so hard for me to describe this fragrance other than it's such a fresh smell and like that's how I would describe it is like fresh and like not really it's not really sweet um, and it's not like I guess I would describe it as like a little bit spicy but it's I mean it's really just like a floral like fresh I guess but not even like floral like when I think of floral I think of like very flowery like this isn't like that at all if you're looking for a fragrance like an every single day fragrance um, I had a lot of, of my like 
you know, like mothers coming in to buy this fragrance. Um, but like I said, I'm almost 25 years old and I absolutely love this fragrance. So it doesn't really have to do about age, but um, I know that my um, boss at the time, she was in her 50s. This is like what she wears. This is like her signature scent and she doesn't really switch it up. Um, so yeah, this is like a great fragrance that I also think everyone should have in their um, perfume collection because when it comes to liking fresh scents, um, you're definitely gonna want this in your collection. It's just a different type of fresh that I'm honestly at a loss for words of how to describe this fragrance to be completely honest with you. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is Burberry Touch. Now, this is one of their older fragrances. Um, I actually didn't sell it where I was, but I had a lot of customers coming in asking for it. So this is one of those like more like classic fragrance scents. So um, a lot of like the older generation comes in asking for this because it was popular years ago. Um, so they have a Burberry Touch for men as well. And I would describe both Burberry Touches as very spicy. Um, I'm not exactly into like just like spicy scents and that really is like what I would consider this um, it's like woodsy and spicy so if you are a woman who loves like more of like the men's type of cologne and perfume because I have a lot of clients that do and I have to say like I was one of them when I bought um, Burberry summer for men when I when I bought this I was like I'm absolutely obsessed I'm just gonna get it for myself so there's a lot of women that are out there like that so that is when I would recommend getting Burberry touch if you're into those type of fragrances very heavy very spicy very woodsy pick up my um, pick up Burberry touch for women the next fragrance I have to show is Ralph Lauren's Tender Romance. Now you can see that I've used a good amount of this bottle. Um, when it comes to how many fragrances I have, you don't really see too many bottles like empty like that. Um, this is hands down one of my top five fra favorite fragrances because like I said before, I'm obsessed with with sweet scents. And this is extremely sweet. It has vanilla in it. It's just the best fragrance ever and it lasts literally forever on my skin. And this is an Eau de Parfum. It is so long lasting on my skin. Some people say that it's not long lasting, but I'm telling you from experience of my skin, this lasts so long on me and I've, I haven't gotten as many compliments on a perfume as I have from Tender Romance. Men absolutely love this fragrance. And you know, it's just one of those one of those fragrances that's an everyday staple for me. It's it's pretty rare when like I I don't spray this on myself at least once a day. Um, that's how much I love this fragrance. I love how sweet it is. I love how long lasting it is. Um, I have like their other, like I have their Midnight Romance and their regular romance fragrances, but Tender Romance blows them out of the water in my opinion if you like sweet scents. And yeah, this is one of my favorite fragrances of all time. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. And it is such a classy bottle. I absolutely love it. It is new. Um, this fragrance is amazing. And it's one of those fragrances that also stand on its own. I think it's extremely underrated. Not a lot of people that I have seen from experience have bought this like right in front of me. but. It's something that I always recommended. And for some reason, we never got a lot of stock in of this. I think it probably would sell more at like Saks or Neiman's or like a higher end retail store um, because like Guerlain is like a high end name. So um, yeah, you could probably find them selling really well there. I absolutely love this fragrance so, so much. Um, it is an eau de parfum and it's extremely strong. So if you like strong scents, then you're gonna love this fragrance. 
Um, it has like a powdery scent to it, but it's not too overpowering. And it's spicy, but spicy in the best way way it's so hard to describe this fragrance at all i wish you guys could obviously i wish you guys could smell all of these fragrances through the camera wouldn't that be easier <laughs> but um honestly this is just like such a unique fragrance and i'm so glad i have this in my collection and i really do have to start like using this more because it's so unique and I think personally, if you like Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, then you would really, really like Mon Guerlain a lot. They're pretty similar, to be honest with you. Um, Coco Mademoiselle does have like somewhat of like a powdery scent to it as well, but not powdery enough for someone to like be like, oh, this is a powdery fragrance. Um, and that's exactly how Mon Guerlain is. So. I don't know. Let me know if you guys agree with that statement, but I think Coco Mademoiselle lovers would also like Mon Guerlain. The next fragrance I would like to show you guys is this Burberry Brit Rhythm. Now, this is a very like floral fragrance. It's light and it's floral. It is an eau de toilette, so it's not going to last that long on your skin. I think there's way better Burberrys out there than this one, personally, so I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Um, but I do have a lot of people coming in for Burberry Brit Rhythm. I think it sells way better for men, for sure, for a reason. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you like a floral scent, then you're going to like this fragrance. But if you don't, then you obviously you're not going to like this fragrance at all because it is very very floral um, so yeah the next fragrance I want to show you guys is Burberry Brit um, it is such a good fragrance it's an eau de parfum such a good fragrance it's very heavy so if you don't like overpowering scents you're not gonna like this fragrance but this if you do if you want something very long-lasting then go with Burberry Brit Eau de Parfum. It is so good and I think if you like the Mon Guerlain then you're gonna like Burberry Brit EDP as well. They're both heavier scents kind of in similar ways kind of both a little bit spicy um, but yeah um, it has green almond in it it has icy pear lime it's a different fragrance um, something that you're probably not used to. So if you're looking for something that's gonna stay on you all friggin' night, then this is the fragrance. <laughs> However, if you're someone who likes Burberry Brit but it's a little bit too heavy for you, then go with the Burberry Brit Eau de Toilette. So this is the bottle, I have it as well. Um, so this is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance as well. It smells amazing. Um, for me, personally, Burberry Brit EDP might be a little too heavy for me. I do, like, there are some fragrances that are just too heavy for me, like Angel, for instance. I can't wear Angel by Terry Mugler for the life of me. Um, but... I think that one might be a little too heavy for me, so personally, I would love to wear um, Burberry Brit EDT Eau de Toilette more. It is very long lasting as well for a toilette, which is good. Um, the scent is pretty much the same, just toned down. So yeah, um, if Burberry Brit, if you tried it, if it's too heavy for you, then go with the EDT. You, ca you can't go wrong with it, it smells amazing. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is this by Givenchy. It's called Live Irresistible Blossom Crush. Now guys, when this fragrance first came out, which wasn't that, it wasn't too long ago. Um, I would say within the past year and a half it came out. It literally blew me out of the water. I'm not a huge Givenchy fan, um, but this is probably my favorite one by them, honestly, um, because this reminds me so much of spring. This is the perfect spring fragrance, guys. It reminds me of Easter. I, Me and my family, we celebrate Easter, and I gotta tell you, it just reminds me of my childhood at Easter for some reason. It really does. It brings me right back to spring, and oh, it's so good. You can smell the flowers in it. It's not too overpowering of floral. It's a floral sweet scent. 
that's how I would describe it. It is a eau de toilette, so it's not an eau de parfum. It is light, it's not going to last that long on your skin, but for some reason it is so addicting to me. Like, I absolutely love this fragrance for the spring. It's one of my favorites, for sure. Um, and it lasts a pretty decent amount of time for an eau de toilette, so it's really not that bad. I would say if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely check it out if you like sweet and floral fragrances. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is by Estee Lauder. It's called Modern Muse, and you may recognize this from the commercial with Kendall Jenner. She was the face of this fragrance for a long time. Um, and yeah, this is a classic fragrance. Um, they've changed it a few times, I believe. And it's an eau de parfum, so it's very long lasting. A lot of my clients did like it in the past. Um, it's definitely not for me. <laughs> um, you'll never catch me wearing this fragrance, like probably ever. But if you um, like strong fragrances, then you'll, you might like this. You, you could check it out. Um, yeah, for Kendall Jenner being the face of it, I mean, I don't really get it, I guess. I wouldn't really picture her wearing this, but to each their own, I guess. Um, or they just paid her a lot of money to be the model, probably. That's why. But um, yeah, not the greatest fan of this fragrance, but it is extremely popular. So let me know, for all of you that like Modern Muse, let me know what you like about it in the comments. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is Alien Eau de Parfum by Mugler. Now, I just want to say right now that this is one of the most unique fragrances out there. And why is that? The production process of how they make their fragrances, Mugler, unbelievable brand. Those that buy Mugler products are loyal for life. That's all I have to say about Mugler. There is literally like, <laughs> like almost like a cult following of like Mugler fragrances. People that use it once stick with it and are addicted for the rest of their lives. It's just how it is. It's just always been that way. It will always be that way. And honestly, Alien is amazing. It is such a great fragrance. I am not whatsoever a fan of Angel. If you are, I don't mean any, I don't mean that it's not a good fragrance because that's one of our best selling. It was one of our best selling fragrances when I worked in the industry. Um, but I have to say Alien is my personal favorite and, and Angel Muse. I also love by Mugler. This one. Yeah. Really, really good fragrances. Um, so Alien is so unique. It's ambery, it's woody, and it's floral. And that's pretty unique to find in a fragrance, a floral and woodsy scent. Um, and there's just no fragrance out there that compares to this fragrance. There's nothing that I could say, oh yeah, that smells like Alien, ever. It stands on its own for sure. And I guarantee you, if you like strong, long lasting fragrances with like an amber and like woody scent, then you're going to absolutely fall in love with Alien. It's amazing. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is by Prada. It's called Prada Candy Kiss. And yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And if you like sweet scents, so their whole Prada candy line is very, very sweet. Obviously, it's their candy line. Think about it. So Prada Candy Kiss is definitely one of their sweetest ones, I would have to say. And since I'm obsessed with like candy smelling scents, then Prada Candy Kiss was my favorite one by them. I liked it even more than I liked the original Prada candy. Um, so to each their own with this whole line, because if you like Prada candy, you probably like sweet scents, right? So um, this might be too sweet for some people, but it was not too sweet for me and I absolutely love um, Prada Candy Kiss. Um, and it is an eau de parfum, so it is long lasting as well. Um, probably not as long lasting as the Prada Candy original, but I don't even care because the initial smell of this is so good to me that I don't even, I don't mind spending the money on it. <laughs> the next fragrance I want to show you guys is Dolce & Gabbana The One Eau de Toilette. 
So I do have the Eau de Parfum here as well. And this was in my other video, um, which is linked in the description. And I have to say, I almost like the Eau de Toilette better. Believe it or not, to me it's stronger. It really does. It smells stronger to me in scent. And it lasts pretty much the same amount of time as the Eau de Parfum. So they really didn't do like anything different. If anything, I would say this one's a little bit sweeter. Um, but it's pretty practically the same scent. And um, you know, Eau de Toilettes are supposed to be lighter. But this really isn't. This really isn't lighter. I don't really know what they were thinking or doing because it's pretty much the same exact fragrance. Um, but honestly, like I like this bottle more than I like the Eau de Parfum bottle. I mean, this is really classy too. And in my first video, I said this is practically like my favorite um, perfume, but they're basically the same. They're literally like the same. I don't know. I don't know if you guys like think differently then then let me know but I mean I guess like the color this one's a little bit darker so this one probably like is a little bit heavier but I don't know I really don't think so I really think there's barely a difference and if that's the case buy the cheaper one buy the eau de toilette you know what I mean it's, if it's gonna last as long and pretty much smell the exact same why would you spend more on the eau de parfum just food for thought <laughs> The next fragrance I want to show you guys is the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. Now do not mistake this for the Sherry because that was discontinued and is no longer sell, sold anywhere and that was always um, a thing. People always wanted that fragrance and they don't sell it anywhere. They don't even sell it online anymore. I mean, there's probably somebody who has a bottle that's selling it for like $1,000 at this point because the demand for it is off the wall. I don't really know why they got rid of that fragrance because it was so popular. But this is Miss Dior Eau de Parfum and they have changed this fragrance. So yes, if you think it smells different, it's because they did, they changed it. Um, so this is their newer one and Personally, I really like the smell. Um, it's not one of my favorite fragrances. It is a little too overpowering for me for like the everyday, but if I was going to like, I don't know, like a nice occasion, like to a nice dinner or to like uh, a fancy like dance or something at night or even to like maybe even a funeral or something like I would probably wear like this because it's very very classy very sophisticated it's a spicy scent for sure it has Italian Mandarin essence Egyptian Jasmine absolute and Indonesian patchouli you can definitely smell the patchouli in this fragrance and I'm a huge fan of patchouli I used to use a patchouli um, <laughs> shampoo bar from Lush and I was obsessed with it. It smelled like pure patchouli. Um, so any fragrance of patchouli, I'm pretty much a, a hooked fan because I'm just addicted to that scent in general. Um, but yeah, this is this is a really nice fragrance, just not for like every day for me. It would have to be like a nighttime fragrance if I was going somewhere like very fancy. I don't wear it a lot, but it is really the the you can't go wrong with this bottle. It's such a gorgeous bottle. I absolutely love the Miss Dior line. I think they're one of the classiest bottles I've ever seen. So yeah, um, definitely a good fragrance for sure. Very long lasting. The next fragrance I wanna show you guys is new by Marc Jacobs. It's called Daisy Love. It's such a pretty bottle. Oh my gosh, guys, so pretty. Perfect for the springtime. See the cap comes off and it looks like that. Perfect for the spring. It's um, a gorgeous, gorgeous scent. It's fruity and it's springy and it just reminds you that the nice weather is coming. Now when this fragrance launched, I was there for that as well and this sold so well right off the bat. We like sold out of it and it was like incredible. Um, if you like the um, past Marc Jacobs like daisy lines, then you'll probably like this one. This one's a little more toned down so it's not as floral as your other daisies. So if your other daisy like daisy, 
original or Daisy Dream, if they were too floral to you, even though Daisy Dream I would say is like more like sweet, then I would go for this one because this is a little more fruity than floral, um, but it definitely has like aspects of, of floralness in there, obviously, the cap, um, but yeah, it's definitely not too overpowering. It's a light, fun fragrance, so if you're someone that is just looking for something light for the springtime, I would highly, highly suggest this. This is an eau de toilette, so it isn't going to last that long on your skin. It is a light, light one, but it'll be good for the summertime because most people don't want something extremely overpowering for the spring anyways. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is by Gucci. This is Gucci Flora. Now Gucci Flora uh, collection has a few different types. This is the Glamorous Magnolia. I don't know if you can see it. Glamorous Magnolia is the one that I have and I actually am a huge fan of the Flora collection. Huge fan. Um, it was stopped it stopped being sold at like a few stores. I'm not really sure why. I guess it just wasn't really being bought that often, but I think it's super underrated. I think this is like, you can tell that the color is like blue almost. Um, it's not like completely clear. I don't know if it picks up on camera, but it's like a bluish color, meaning that it's a very fresh scent. It's like aqua type of scent with a little bit of floral in it. So if you like fresh and um, a little bit of floral, then you're gonna love this fragrance. Because a lot of those um, fragrances that are blue in color, similar to Aqua de Gel for Women by Giorgio Armani, they're very similar in color. Um, again, I don't think the camera's picking up because this is an actual blue bottle, but the liquid inside is blue as well. Um, I don't, it, it just means that it's a very fresh fragrance, a very light fragrance. It's an eau de toilette, so it's not gonna last as long as on your skin. But if you don't like an eau de parfum, then this is a pretty good eau de toilette for the springtime and the summer, for sure. The next fragrance I wanna show you guys is by Narciso Rodriguez. It is the eau de toilette. And this is probably one of the most powerful eau de toilettes you will ever smell in your entire life. This is such a strong fragrance. It is so, so strong. So if you guys don't like strong fragrances, you are not going to like anything from Narciso Rodriguez. Nothing. Because all of their fragrances are mainly based on like patchouli. Um, and patchouli is pretty strong. So. Yeah, this fragrance, I absolutely love it. I really do, but it has to be worn for me one spray and at night. It can't be during the day. Like I can't just like wake up and smell this fragrance. Like I have to be like going throughout the day in order to like get myself ready to wear this fragrance. Like that's how strong it is. So, and you can only imagine what the Eau de Parfum smells like. Um, honestly, I like this one way better than I like the Eau de Parfum anyways. I find that it lasts like just as long as an eau de parfum. Um, so yeah, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Extremely long lasting. Um, for someone definitely older, I could not, not picture a 16 year old like girl wearing this, but if you do, you go girl. Um, it's just like a very like sophisticated scent. Um, and yeah, it's been around for a long time, so. I have a love-hate relationship with this fragrance just because of how strong it is, but honestly, it does smell amazing and there's nothing like it. The next fragrance I want to show you guys is Because of You by Emporio Armani. Honestly, guys, this is one of my favorite fragrances of all time and it is so underrated in the craziest of ways. So this is like, probably came out about two years ago, I want to say. Um, it was my summer of 2018. No, my summer of 2017 fragrance. I wore this. This is like my second bottle. Um, I wore this every single day for like that entire summer. And it's just 
the perfect fragrance for me. I don't know how to describe it, and it's so underrated, and it's such a good price. It is priced so well. This is honestly, like, if I have to say out of any fragrance I have in my entire perfume collection, this is gonna be your best deal. This is gonna be your best buy. It smells amazing. It has raspberry, uh, neroli, uh, vanilla, I know it has rose and it has musk in it it's so good and it's perfect for the spring or summer it's an everyday fragrance it's not too overpowering it's not too light it's an eau de parfum and I just I have no words it's so fruity and sweet and fresh all at the same time and it's amazing it is definitely in one of my top five favorite fragrances of all time <laughs> The next fragrance I want to show you guys is Simply Belle. It is an Eau de Parfum and it is on the lighter side. So this is not a long lasting Eau de Parfum at all. It's extremely light. It is pretty and it's feminine, but honestly, um, I'm not sure if it's worth it. I mean, it's just one of those, to me, average scents. Like, I don't know. It's an eau de parfum, but I really don't see how. <laughs> I really don't see how because it doesn't last long at all. It acts as an eau de toilette. And honestly, there's really nothing that special about it. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this one at all. If your opinion differs from mine, um, comment down below as to why you like it. The next fragrance I'm going to show you guys is Miracle by Lancome. So this fragrance is... Um, I guess I would describe it as like a fresh and a little bit spicy of a fragrance. Um, it's, you know, I don't know. I'm. It sells pretty well, but to me it's a little bit older. So I wouldn't personally wear this probably ever. Um, I'm not into the scent. It's not my type of like scent. But those that like spicier and fresh scents, they might actually really like this fragrance. So up to you. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Miracle. Next fragrance I have to show you guys is Shalimar Eau de Parfum by Guerlain. Now this fragrance has been around for generation after generation. And this is one of the most classic fragrances out there. Um, it's extremely, extremely strong. I would never personally wear this fragrance. I think this is like a Nana or like a mom like perfume for sure. Um, but yeah, honestly, it's too strong for me. Um, it might not be too strong for you, which is great. It is a classic fragrance, so I do have a lot of clients still coming in, asking for it and buying it and things like that. But um, if you're like a younger person, I couldn't really see you wearing this. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's spicy and woody, and if you're into that, then you would really like Chalmer um, Eau de Parfum. The next fragrance I'm gonna show you guys is by Jessica McClintock. It's the Jessica McClintock fragrance. It is an eau de parfum. Guys, I absolutely love this fragrance. If you love a very, very, very floral scent, like extremely floral, like basically this is 100% floral fragrance, um, which honestly, I absolutely love this fragrance. I have used like a good amount of it to be completely honest with you guys. Um, I love this fragrance. I think this would be amazing at a wedding. This would be a perfect wedding fragrance for all of you guys thinking about getting married. Um, this is not sold everywhere. And honestly, it smells like like white lilies or like gardenia, like something like extremely floral. And it's very, 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 very long lasting. So you definitely get your money's worth with this. And it's such a feminine and just classy and just such an amazing fragrance so highly highly recommend the Jessica Millen Dog fragrance for sure. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is by Vince Camuto. It's called Fiori and they have a collection of fragrances that look pretty similar to this. They all have like different caps and things like that. Like I have um, 
see here. I have Bella by Vince Camuto here. This is my favorite one by Vince Camuto. It's in my past perfume collection video, which will be linked in the description. Um, but this one is very sweet. It's a lot lighter and a lot sweeter than Bella. Bella is more fruity, this one is more sweet. So this is a really pretty feminine fragrance, um, for sure. I wouldn't really say it's anything like special. Like I, I don't know. Not a lot of people like go after this one um, for I guess a pretty valid reason. There's just other fragrances out there that would probably like beat this one out. But honestly, it's light. It's sweet. It's pretty. Like it's. I wouldn't say it's a bad fragrance. I just wouldn't say it's like that great um but it is an eau de parfum and yeah um i don't really think it lasts as long personally i prefer tender romance over this um which is kind of like the same bald game ball game but yeah i mean fiori is a pretty fragrance i just think that maybe for your money you would want to spend it on something else <laughs> the next fragrance i have to show you guys is by calvin klein it's called Eternity. Now this fragrance has been around forever. It's one of their classic fragrances. I have a lot of clients that still ask for this fragrance. Um, personally, you would never, ever, ever in a million years catch me wearing this fragrance. <laughs> um, this is not the type of scent that I would ever wear or I like at all. I actually can't stand the smell of this fragrance, personally, honestly. Um, so yeah, it's definitely like um another like older fragrance like i wouldn't really picture like a young like teenager buying this fragrance um i definitely wouldn't <laughs> um but i mean if you like it it's not bad and i don't mean to offend anyone in this video if there's fragrances that you like that i say i don't like that is okay because fragrances is different everyone has different tastes when it comes to fragrances you know it's about how it makes you feel if a fragrance makes you feel good then stick with it don't listen to what anyone else says i make these videos so that i can try to help you guys who maybe don't know a lot about perfume to make decisions without actually smelling the bottle and just like an honest review my reviews are always completely honest because one i'm not sponsored um and two i get sent these fragrances so i'm not buying them so i don't have like any like emotional like attachment to these fragrances like or like monetary like attachment to them at all um so yeah i feel like that's why my videos are so valuable to you guys because i'm so honest i literally am honest in all of the videos i make on my channel so check the rest of them out but yeah i don't mean to offend anyone in these videos and i know in the comments in my last video some people were offended and i can't be perfect but if you want me to make an honest video then i have to have some negative honest reviews in there like i, I really do and for me eternity just doesn't do it for me um, it's an eau de parfum. I will give it that it is extremely, extremely long lasting on the skin. So if you're someone that likes spicy fragrances like this, that are very long lasting and a very like distinct smell, like I can tell what this was on someone walking by immediately. Like you know that it's eternity. So if you like fragrances like that, then I would say definitely check eternity out. The next fragrance I would like to show you guys is Cashmere Mist by Donna Karen. It is the Eau de Toilette, not the Eau de Parfum. Personally, I am a fan of the Eau de Parfum way more than I'm a fan of the Eau de Toilette for sure. Um, Eau de Toilette is too light and it does not last on the skin at all. So if you, die, if you guys do like a very musky, that is what Donna Karen's all about, is about musk. So if you like fragrances with a lot of musk in them, then highly recommend Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. It's a very pretty fragrance, but I would never buy the Eau de Toilette. I would only buy the Eau de Parfum. My opinion, personally, you are completely wasting your money buying the Eau de Toilette. It does not last at all. And it's basically like water, like honestly, <laughs> I don't know. I, I just say like, go ahead and buy yourself the Eau de Parfum. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is by Juicy Couture. And this fragrance is called Noir, Viva La Juicy Noir. It's in a very pretty dark pink bottle, very edgy, very young, very feminine. 
Um, that's what I really like about Juicy Couture. Um, it is an eau de parfum, which is great. Um, it's honestly, Viva, not Viva, honestly, Juicy Couture fragrances, typically not very long lasting fragrances, kind of like kids boppy fragrances, to be completely honest with you. Um, if you are someone who is a fan of like Victoria's Secret fragrances, then you're probably gonna love Juicy Couture. Um, it's very like young and fun and lively, similar to, to Victoria's Secret perfumes. Um, this one is a very pretty fragrance for sure. It has like an edginess to it rather than like some of the sweeter ones that you smell. So this one, I wouldn't really say is like entirely sweet. Um, I think the other one that I'm gonna show you in a few minutes um, is sweeter, but this one is like more of like a heavier fragrance. I would say probably one of their heaviest Juicy Couture fragrances. So if you want one of their longer lasting ones, then I would go with the Viva La Juicy Noir for sure. The next fragrance I want to show you guys is by Marc Jacobs and it is called Decadence. And this is the Eau de Parfum. This was in my first perfume collection video, but I didn't have it with the cap. And I really, I got the cap and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like with the cap. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. It's an eau de parfum. It lasts on your skin forever, the entire day. Extremely long lasting fragrance, very, very deep fragrance. It's, you either love it or you hate it. There's people that love it, there's people that hate it, there's no one in between. There's no one like, hmm, I don't know if I like Marc Jacobs Decadence. Like, that just doesn't happen. You either love it or hate it. Um, and I, Honestly, I actually like it. I, I don't hate it at all. I do like it. I just don't wear it that often because it can become a little bit too heavy for me. But look at this bottle. Honestly, like this is one of the greatest bottles I have ever seen. It's like a purse um, on a perfume bottle. It's absolutely gorgeous. So spot on Marc Jacobs with the bottle on this one. The next fragrance I have to show you guys was limited edition and it is not existing anymore unfortunately, but sometimes Dolce & Gabbana comes out with limited edition bottles. And this is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Italian Zest version. And oh my gosh guys, if this isn't the perfect summer fragrance, I don't know what is. So if you had the luxury of being able to get this before it was sold out, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. It is an amazing fragrance it literally smells like lemon so if you're such a huge fan of lemon like I am I have to have water with a lemon I like can't have it without I have to have my tea with lemon I can't have it without like this I felt like I couldn't live without the entire summer like I felt like I was just like dripping in lemon <laughs> it was like the best feeling ever so um, yeah it has like that same like light blue scent with that hint of strong lemon and it's not just any lemon it's a very special lemon which I'm not gonna even try to pronounce from Italy because I butchered it a million times before and everyone called me out on it but um, yeah so this fragrance is such a good summer fragrance and it's super light, super zesty and lively and just, yeah. Obviously you guys can tell that I'm a fan of this and I would be so sad to see this go all the way down because they don't sell it anymore. The next fragrance I would like to show you guys is Blooming Bouquet by Dior. So it's Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, another very, very classy bottle by Dior. As I said before, one of my favorite brands for bottles. Super sophisticated, super high-end, super classy. So Blooming Bouquet is one of my favorites in the Blooming in the Miss Dior collection. My favorite is Absolutely Blooming, which I actually don't have. I wish I did. Um, but Blooming Bouquet is so pretty. It really is, and it's one of their best sellers. I actually think it is their number one seller in their Miss Dior collection. This is such a pretty fragrance for the spring and the summertime, or really just any day. Um, but it is a lighter fragrance, and it's a fresh fragrance with a hint of floral, and just like, it's such a soft scent, and so feminine. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love this fragrance so much, and I've recently started to use it a lot, actually. You can see that I've like dipped into it. Um, yeah, it's it's really good guys, and I think that this is also another staple that everyone should have in their collection. 
the first time I saw this fragrance. I don't know if you guys watch her, but Jaclyn Hill is a huge or was a huge fan of Blooming UK. I don't know if she still is. I don't really have time to watch YouTube anymore, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, she loved Blooming Bouquet. I'm pretty sure this was like, it wasn't her wedding scent. Her wedding scent was Daisy, but she wore this like all the time too. So um, definitely like a staple and a lot of people love this fragrance for a good reason. It's a good everyday scent. Next fragrance I have to show you guys is by Chloe. It is the Eau de Parfum. Now I do really like her bottles for sure. Um, the only fragrances I like by Chloe though is um, Love Story, which I have here. It's in my first perfume collection video. And the new one called Nomad, which is amazing for the fall and the winter. I wish I had that one too. Um, but this is the original Chloe Eau de Parfum and it is their number one seller and a lot of people really like it. It's a good everyday, like fresh fragrance for sure. It's very versatile, which I think is why it's liked so much by so many different type of people and age groups and things like that. Um, but I personally would never wear this fragrance. I really don't like Chloe fragrances. Um, they're just not anything special to me. I think they're way too overpriced. Like I think this like costs, like obviously I'm gonna have like what they cost below, but thinking on the top of my head, it's like either 132 to like 138 or something crazy so yeah I just think it's a little bit um overpriced for what it is or maybe a lot of it <laughs> like I just I don't get it but I do I don't know I think it's the name Chloe um it's a very well-known like fragrance brand um so yeah I mean it's it's a pretty fragrance but it's just not for me at all <laughs> Let me know if you guys Chloe like Chloe in the comments and tell me what you like about it. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is by Lancome as well. It's called La Via Belle. It is their number one seller and it was one of my best selling fragrances that I've ever sold. Um, this is definitely like top 10 on like popularity for like fragrances. This fragrance is so strong and so long lasting, super spicy, super unique. Um, a lot of people who like Chanel, Coco, Mademoiselle are going to absolutely love uh, Lancome La Via Belle. That's what I found that customers that like this fragrance or uh, Mademoiselle or even Flower Bomb customers, people who love Flower Bomb, which um, I also have right here. People who love Flower Bomb, this was in my first video, um, love La Via Belle most of the time. It's very long lasting. I wouldn't really say they're like, I guess they're like in the same category. For like eau de parfums but i would i still think they all completely smell like unique and different on their own um but i personally love la via belle especially the newer one um it's a little bit lighter and a little more sweet which is why i like the newer one better but this is the original eau de parfum and it's very very strong one of the most long lasting fragrances you'll ever wear and super unique. So I definitely think this is also a staple in everyone's perfume collection that everyone should have this. The next fragrance I have to show you guys is by Davidoff. It is cool water for women. And I'm gonna sneeze. Wait for it. Bless me. Um, I, I just wanna say I've cut out me sneezing probably like 55 times throughout this whole video because like it's just like fragrances everywhere because I keep spraying it just so I get like a good description of each one for you guys like I know what they smell like but I just need to like re-smell you know what I mean so um yeah this is David off cool water for women the men's cool water um it's actually could be worn as unisex um is extremely extremely popular so this is an eau de toilette, but it's pretty, pretty strong for an eau de toilette. The only time I would ever wear this is in the summertime. This is, look at that. If you guys learned something today, it's if you see a blue colored um, liquid inside of a bottle, and I know this bottle is blue anyways, but the liquid is also blue, I know that for a fact, um, then that's how you know, fresh aqua fragrance. 
this smells like a day at the beach you know a day at the pool it reminds you of just being in water and being surrounded by water um, it is a really very very fresh fragrance and for me this I would only wear if I was like if it was like 9 in the morning and I was walking to the beach or walking to the pool just to have like something on because I have to wear some sort of fragrance at all times like I just do I'm so obsessed and I absolutely love like I, I have such a love for fragrances so um, yeah I would definitely wear this like on a walk to the beach or on vacation going to the pool um, yeah it just reminds me of summer for sure the next fragrance I want to show you guys is by Juicy Couture as well. I'm sure you can tell by the bottle. It is Viva La Juicy Rosé. And honestly, this is such a fun fragrance. Um, I'm so glad I have this fragrance. The bottle is so cute. And this is perfect if you're buying like a gift for like your teenager or something like that. Um, all like I mean I wouldn't really say like a mom is going to wear this fragrance you know what I mean like a six-year-old mother but like I said age doesn't really matter but if you're someone like I said earlier that likes Victoria's Secret scents and and like scents like that um, then you're probably like celebrity fragrances then you're probably gonna like Juicy Couture as well um, this one is very sweet and it almost like has like a hint of like wine like it said like rosé it really does it has like a hint of a wine scent to it so it is a really fun like pretty fragrance and it is a eau de parfum um, but like I said before Juicy Couture is not long lasting so their eau de parfum and eau de toilettes like they don't really matter so um, yeah it's not very long lasting but it's just like a fun like light fragrance for like when you're when your kid or like your your best friend in like school wants to smell good, get them a bottle of this. Next thing I have to show are these Boucheron scents. It's an eau de parfum and an eau de toilette. I have both bottles here. These are very classic fragrances. These have been around for generation after generation once again. These fragrances are still asked for every single day. I used to sell them all the time from the older generations. You will never, I have never seen in my whole five years, seen like a 20 year old girl go in looking for Boucheron. You know what I mean? Like it's just not gonna happen. Unless you comment down below and say you wear that, then I'm proven wrong, but um, yeah. Not really sure. This is like a, a floral, like oriental scent is how I would describe both of these. Eau de Parfum obviously has the frosted glass. It's a little bit heavier and it will last on you a little bit longer, but Boucheron's Eau de Toilette is not a light fragrance either. It's still very strong. You're still gonna get a lot of wear out of it, so it's really up to you. The Eau de Parfum could be a little too overpowering for you, so you might want to go with the Eau de Toilette. Um, but yeah, completely your preference. Um, but yeah, I would just I would describe it as like a luminous, like oriental fragrance um, with a little bit of like floral and like sparkling, like fruity aspects of it. That's really like how I would describe it um but it is like very strong and very long lasting so if you're into these type of scents then hey i would recommend boucheron for you the next fragrance i want to show you guys is by burberry you might recognize this bottle it is burberry body there is not a bottle like this that burberry makes similar um and people would always come in asking me yeah like i'm looking for the tall like burberry bottle like this is it this is burberry body it's not sold everywhere anymore in fact a lot of places stopped carrying it which is why it's becoming like pretty hard to find nowadays this fragrance is an eau de parfum not for me <laughs> this is not again it's not my favorite type of scent I think if you like the fragrance Eternity by Calvin Klein, like I showed you earlier, then you're going to like Burberry Body. They're very similar in scents, I think. This one is a little bit lighter, a little less overpowering, but it's like that older, like classic scent still. So um, yeah, if you like Calvin Klein Eternity, then you're probably gonna like Burberry Body. The next fragrance I wanna show you guys is Opium by Yves Saint Laurent and this fragrance is extremely strong it is an eau de parfum this is going to last on you all morning all afternoon and all night <laughs> 
literally all day. You're not gonna get it off of you. Um, it's extremely strong of a fragrance. It's very spicy and powdery at the same time. That's how I would describe it. Um, it's woodsy and yeah, it's a very deep, deep fragrance. And I have myself Black Opium. I would recommend this for the younger generation for sure. Someone who doesn't like something so overpowering and classic is this. This is an extremely classic fragrance, been around for years. They have an Eau de Toilette and an Eau de Parfum. This is the Eau de Toilette. And the Eau de Toilette um, is a little bit lighter but still extremely strong. I would never wear this fragrance. I wear Black Opium, which is an Eau de Parfum, and it's a lot lighter and it's a completely different scent. They're not even like similar, so don't think they're similar at all. This one has vanilla and coffee in it. This is in my first perfume collection video. Um, but this one is like very spicy, very woodsy, and very like old fashioned smelling, if I could really put it in any words. <laughs> the next fragrance I have to show you guys is by Perry Ellis. This is a Perry Ellis Eau de Toilette fragrance. And this fragrance is very different, honestly. It's an older fragrance. Um, and I was just introduced to it not too long ago, com to be completely honest with you, because I never personally sold it myself. Um, but a lot of people came in asking for Perry Ellis perfume, and I've never actually smelt any other fragrance by them except for this one. Um, so I don't really know much about them, so I'm not really gonna go into full blown detail, but of what I've smelt today, it is so such a unique fragrance. It has like a fruity scent to it. It's like fresh and fruity at the same time, but like this like splash, literally like a splash of like, fruitiness and I really really like that about it actually let me just spray it again yeah when you spray it all of a sudden like it's it like smells like fresh at first and then all of a sudden like a splash of like fruitiness and then it like tones down to like this like fresh and fruity scent that's like how I would describe it it's actually really really pretty if you guys haven't tried this I definitely would recommend it the next fragrance I have to show you guys is Aromatics Elixir. It is a perfume spray, and this is so strong, guys. So strong. It is a classic fragrance. It's been around forever, and yeah, honestly, you would never catch me wearing this fragrance once again. It's just spicy and way too overpowering and strong for me. Um, again, another like older generation, I think, of a scent, um, but yeah. Not really much else to say other than it's going to be extremely long lasting on you. You're probably not going to be able to get it off. And yeah, I mean, it's a it's a perfume spray, so it's so strong. Um, probably one of the strongest things I have in my collection, honestly. Um, and yeah, if you're into that, then check it out for sure. The next fragrance I have to show is by Givenchy. It's called Amarige and um, it is one of their classic fragrances. It is an Eau de Toilette, but this is one of the strongest Eau de Toilettes I've ever smelled in my entire life. And this fragrance really brings back memories for me. It truly reminds me of my Nana, and that's why I have such a connection to it. My Nana used to wear this all the time. She hasn't worn it for a while, but I almost wanna just give her this bottle. I think I'm going to, um, because she truthfully like loved this growing up. And, um, yeah, it's just a very strong fragrance. Even though it's an Eau de Toilette, it will last on you all day. Um, it really, really truthfully will. And this is like a very pretty fragrance, I gotta say, for like one of those like classic, like older fashioned, older generation fragrances. I might be biased here um, because of the whole connection with my Nana and stuff. I'm not honestly like not really sure. Um, I wouldn't wear this myself, but like this, I, I enjoy like smelling it on someone else, if that makes any sense. I really do because it, it doesn't smell bad at all. Like some of the other ones I was like, no, like not a fan at all. I actually don't mind this fragrance at all. I think it's really pretty. I think if I were to get my Nana something, then it would probably be this one out of any of the other ones. Um, or like a Chanel number no. five or um, like 
uh, Lancome Treasure is another one that my Nana loves. Like those I think actually smell really good. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend this for like if you're buying for like your grandmother or something like that or your mother. Um, another like very sophisticated fragrance but also still sells very well so yeah um, I actually really do like Amarige personally so check it out so the last fragrance I have to show you guys is by Guess it is an eau de parfum and the cap comes off like this it's a cute bottle I think I really like the silver on it um, and Guess Clothing is really cool actually. I went in their store. There's actually a store near me. I went in the other day It's actually G by guess and They have some like pretty cool stuff in there. I gotta start like looking around there um, But this fragrance is very light and it's very pretty. It really is It kind of reminds me a little bit of a lighter version of Armani code, which is really cool um, I didn't think anything would really smell like it, but it does it reminds me a little bit of Armani Code. It's like a light um, fragrance with a little bit of floral in it, but very fresh smelling. So this is actually not bad at all. And I'm sure it's like a very like cheap fragrance, like price wise. So definitely check this out for sure. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun making it. As you guys know, you've been wanting me to make this for the past almost like two years now. And I really, I've been thinking about it every single day and I'm like, I can't wait to make it. I can't wait to make it. But I didn't feel like I had enough like qu quantity or like quality fragrances at once to show you. So, yeah, I officially like made this video and I'm so happy about it. I'm so glad it's made for you guys. And yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Seriously, you guys have no idea how much each and every one of you mean to me for watching this video, for commenting on this video, for liking this video, for subscribing, for just checking out my videos, for even just tuning into this video for five minutes. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. Appreciate you um, and yeah I I hope that you like all the other content on my page and if I could ask one thing of you it would be to please comment down below and tell me what future videos you would like to see on my channel um, because that way I can make content that you guys really want to see I hope that you guys like my positivity content that I have on my channel as well that's something that I'm super super passionate about because I don't want this channel to only be about perfume I want it to be about a variety of topics and so much more than that so much more than products I want it to be about value so I really hope you guys found value in this video and I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video Bye guys. Just want to let you know, in case you guys, for all of you that are loyal subscribers and loyal watchers of my channel, if it seems like I haven't posted in a while, it's because I started a new YouTube channel. It's a new recipe channel. And for all of you that didn't know, I am vegan myself, so I eat a plant-based diet, and I'm super excited to share that with you because I absolutely love it. It's just super healthy, and I feel great every day, and that's like, really, in sum, that's all I really have to say about it. <laughs> um, so for those of you that just want to be a little bit healthier, and maybe you don't want to go vegan, completely fine. Maybe you don't even want to go vegetarian, completely fine. You just want to like incorporate like better, healthier, um, meals into your everyday life, then please subscribe to my channel. I'll have the link, the name of it here, and I'll have the link in the description along with the link to my first perfume collection video. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.